Jake Shields has been known to speak his mind. Former MMA fighter Jake Shields. And recently, he sent out a challenge. With all this stuff going on with transgender athletes in sports, Jake Shields came out and said, hey, you know what? Um, I've got a challenge for any transgender athletes out there. I'll fight 10 you in a row. I don't care. It's an open challenge to anybody. Well, finally, it looks like someone may be trying to take him up on that. Transgender MMA artist accepts former UFC fighters challenge to fight. I'm going to fuck you up. Mac Beggs won back-to-back -back high school girls titles while transitioning. Last month, former UFC fighter Jake Shields posted a challenge to the toughest trans men to about, and no one has answered the call. Mac Beggs, a biological female from Texas who has transitioned, posted on Instagram that, quote, he was down to go against Shields. After Shields claimed to receive no response from any trans fighters, he revised his offer, saying he'd take on former UFC fighter Mike Jackson and 10 trans fighters simultaneously. This is a serious offer. Go get your teams ready. Well, now we have uh, Mac Beggs saying that they are down. Because Jake Shields saying, a million views, not a single trans man has stepped up to accept my challenge. Well, now you have this person right here. I'm specifically going to fuck you up, Jake Shields. We're just going to make this an official call out, but Jake Shields, I will take you up on your offer, but the offer is going to be 10 versus one and 10 trans men. You're going to be fighting the rest of the night. You're going to do a one-on-one -on -one match. You're going to do it right. If you call yourself a fighter, do it fucking right. Like that's just effing disrespectful. It's disrespectful to the sport of MMA. For me. Oh yeah, let me just call it 10 trans men and I'll whoop them. Begs continue to defend trans fighters an official challenge to Shields. Now, Shields has said, right? Shields has said, listen, there was a couple people that said they were open to it, and then they backed out when I actually contacted them. No word as if, to, as if this is one of those people that did this or not, but this is just hilarious. And I love what Jake Shields is doing. He's trying to make these people put their money where their mouths are or back up what they're saying. Hey, if you think you're a man, come get into the ring with a man, and I will take you all out. What's your reaction to all this, John? Boy, man, I got to say this. Let's be real. He's going into the ring with biological females. I wouldn't do it. But did he actually probably say this anticipating that none of the uh, trans fighters actually wanted to fight him? I imagine. I imagine that that's, he probably doesn't think that anyone will actually accept. But I do think Jake Shields is ready to go and do it. Yeah. You know, if, he, if he, so pro he probably is. But me, myself, man, my mother raised me not to put my hands on biological women. I wouldn't do it. I understand what he's saying, though. And this could end bad. This could end badly for the biological females. It could. Uh, here's Jake Shields. My offer's legit. So have they them contact me and they can start putting their team together. Bud Light just contacted me and offered to sponsor all the trans athletes. This thing thinks it can beat me in a fight. Jake Shields is going hard over this. Not the first time we've talked about Jake Shields on this program. And yeah, it probably I think, I think he's dead last. serious, man. I do I think, think so, he's dead serious. If this 100%. happens, man, woo, he's probably going to get backlash too because I believe he would wipe all of them out. Oh, he, he will destroy them. There's no doubt. No doubt. Uh, but yeah, I, I personally, at some point, you need to have these extreme things. Like you, you need to have, and, and I don't think he's going to go out there and like try to, you know, kill somebody or anything like that. But you need to have these extreme examples in order for anything to happen. You know? So if someone does decide to do that, and that's going to get a lot of attention. It'll get a lot of people to realize just how insane this really is. And yeah. then to imagine all the biological women who are then being forced to play and compete against biological men.